happy first day of booktube <laughs> Okay guys, so happy day one of booktube -thon. It is Monday, I am heading to work. Don't get too used to me filming outside. This is my front garden. I haven't gotten very far yet. So um, somebody walked, walked past my garden, so I um, freaked out and stopped recording. But I'm safely in the car now. So my first book for booktube -thon is going to be Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. I am this far into this, so I only have 145 pages left which I'm gonna finish today, hopefully. Monday is my busiest day with like live stuff. Work is busier, so sometimes I have to stay late. Um, then I have the gym. So, yeah. Not a great day for reading for me, but I don't think work's too busy because as soon as like the kids leave school, like work gets super quiet. So that should be good. Plenty of time for reading at work, hopefully. My video schedule is going to go as this. I'm going to check the video challenge every day. If I don't like it, I'm gonna vlog. There is also my regularly scheduled content. So tomorrow you'll have a tag video. Thursday you're gonna have my wrap up. Sunday I'm not sure what you're getting. But Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday will be vlogs or video challenges. So today, which is Monday, I'll check the challenge. I don't like it, you're gonna get a vlog. And it's gonna be this. So that's pretty much all I have to say for now. I'm on my way to work. I'll probably not vlog when I'm there. I might vlog without talking. I don't know. We'll see. But happy booktube with on and I hope you're all reading good stuff. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a go when nobody knows. With guns hidden under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no. So work is over for the day. We are gonna head to the supermarket to get me some essential book tubathon supplies, e.g. Pepsi, because um, I drink like a ton of it and for some reason it's in extreme short supply at the minute. But I have read 120 pages of Elantra so far today. I have two chapters and the epilogue left, which I'm going to get done probably pretty much as soon as I get home. And then that will be my first book down. May have a little plot twist in the booktubeathon. There is a very short novella that goes with Elantris, and I might read that. Not sure what challenge that I'm going to be putting Elantris in for yet. Um, maybe the book with the green cover. I have the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo waiting for me at the library, and I'm going to go collect that on Thursday. So there is still time for me to read that during the readathon. But Elantris is either going to go in as my green book or as the Read 7 Books challenge, in which case I won't be reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo or The Giver, but regardless they are both in my Newt's TBR, so I will still be reading them in August. I'm so hot and sweaty right now because it's like ridiculously hot. Like, it was grey and it was raining and now, now it's beautiful. A little bit too beautiful, you may say. But that is all for now. I will catch you up later on. Oh, the struggle for Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, so snacks we have fake Pringles, caramelized onion hummus, fake Pepsi, four bags of roasted and salted cashew nuts, tortilla chips for the hummus. Booktubeathon down. I don't know what to rate this yet. I'm torn between four and five stars because I really, really loved it. It is about a city that used to be ruled by gods. However, something happens and the gods all fell. And now, if you are inflicted 
with this godlike disease it's more of a curse than you becoming a god and it follows through perspectives it's an epic fantasy and it was epic however it was very slow and it only really started to pick up at like page 570 i love slow books so i really loved it but it was slow and not a lot happened but it was epic oh i'm torn but that is 145 pages down for booktubeathon as i started this before booktubeathon started i'm not sure whether to read the very short novella that goes with this it's only 25 pages and to have them sort of combined as my seventh book because i feel kind of bad for starting this before 145 pages down not even one day of booktubeathon over and i'm one book in rosie has not read any books yet because she's too busy sleeping but um i'm sure she'll get on a little meerkat reading list soon anyway i have a spin class to go to and then pretty soon after that i'm going to be wrapping up this vlog because i need to get it edited and up tonight but i will see you after i've gotten all disgustingly sweaty at the gym i love you little girl oh oh my back's gone stiff i think we can all agree that the gym does not look great on me. I just did 45 minutes of high intensity spin. And now I just have to sit for a while because I can't drive for at least another five minutes. <sighs> okay, so I'm home. I'm in my pajamas. I'm exhausted. And it's time to wrap up this vlog. It's around 8.15 and I'm going to get this edited and posted for you tonight. In conclusion, my total page count for the day is 145. I've finished Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. I have decided on four stars for this, but like a 4.5 because I did really love it, but there are a couple of flaws. However, I did hear that this is his, not worst, but it's not as good as his, as his other books because it was his first ever published work. There is a sequel coming for this in 2020, which I'm super excited for. I am going to be picking up when I've finished editing this vlog, Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. This is the book that I've picked for the Beautiful Spine Challenge. So I want to get my pages up to 200 for the day in total before I go to bed tonight. Tomorrow, there will not be a vlog from me. You'll probably see the next vlog on Wednesday, which will be a wrap up of Tuesday and Wednesday. Tomorrow you'll have Tag Tuesday as usual. And I just want to wrap up this video with a small booktuber shout out. I know that Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads does this as do a couple of other booktubers. And so I'm going to be shouting out channels that are smaller than mine because it kind of seems redundant to shout out somebody with more subscribers than me because a lot of those will be the same subscribers. But today I'm shouting out Dora from Confessing My Reads who is a lovely, beautiful, bubbly human. She's one of my closest booktube friends. I love her content. She does a lot of the standard content like TBR etc but she's also just started doing reading vlogs she does a lot of fun challenges she enjoys the fun stuff a lot more than i do a really great person really funny and you should all go and check her out but that is everything for but on day one i am going to relax because i'm exhausted now and i will catch you in the next couple of days with more reading vlog stuff bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no